Hi, I'd like to take this opportunity to take you on a quick tour of eCart. eCart is the leading Dream Beer extension for building the shopping cart and checkout functionality that is critical to the success of any online store. This latest version of eCart is version 5. We've been developing it since 2002 and it's been used by thousands of developers worldwide. So let me switch over to show you eCart in action. So what I have here is a site uh, based on PowerStore. Now PowerStore is another one of our products. It's a pre-built PHP application. Uh, that means all the pages and all the code is already written for you. You just uh, change a few configuration parameters and your online store is up and running. Um, PowerStore is actually built using eCart. So as I go to the product detail page, what you can see is that the add to cart functionality is built using eCart the actual shopping cart itself, and then the checkout experience. The rest of PowerStore was built using uh, various other products that we have. And the cool thing is that you can get eCart along with all these other products like Data Assist and Security Assist uh, by either buying our Super Suite, which is a suite of everything, or by subscribing to our extension library membership. Now that you've seen uh, the type of store that we can build with eCart, let me uh, pop back into Dreamweaver and show you some of the features that we use to, to build this functionality. The first thing I want to show you is the eCart object. Uh, the object uh, you can think of is the definition of your shopping cart uh, that it is uh, site-wide. As you can see, the eCart object is really a definition of how your shopping cart is going to work and uh, display to your end users. Here you can define things like your currency, uh, the number format, your weight. Another main feature of eCart is the add to cart functionality. Um, as you can see up here where I clicked on the eCart object before is the eCart insert panel which has a access point for all the features uh, that come with eCart. So I'm going to click the add cart button. You can see here that the add a cart button allows you to either define static values or actually bind it to a record set so that um, your add a cart button can be dynamic, getting its value from the database. Um, eCart comes with a database if you don't have one, or you can use any MySQL database that you have. And the design of the button you can pick here in this third screen. Um, you can also use your own custom button. Another new feature of eCart 5 is that you can actually uh, use the add to cart with your own custom code, your own custom events. Um, it's API driven. Now the next piece I want to show you is the actual cop shopping cart page and the, this is called the display manager. Uh, back in my demo store you'll remember that the shopping cart page is this page that shows you what you have in your cart and allows you to update uh, the values and quantities and things like that. So back in Dreamweaver I'll click on display manager now the eCart Display Manager is a three-step wizard. Uh, you don't have to go through all three steps. You can just finish out of here if you don't want to configure uh, any of the optional parameters. Just wanted to go through a couple of things. First of all is the design. Uh, we come with some pre-packaged designs, basically the layout of the shopping cart page. Um, and you'll notice that power is one of them. You can see that the preview is updated here. Um, the other thing that you can change is the type of cart. Uh, the type is actually for what kind of cart you want to display on your page. Uh, Read-only carts cannot be updated. Email friendly can be uh, easily added to an email. A uh, quick cart is just a small miniature version. So if let me choose quick cart, you see it's a little miniature version of your shopping cart. Um, I'll just choose updatable cart here because this is uh, indicative of a page where you can update the, uh, the quantity and that kind of thing. Um, and then the last piece here is the uh, color scheme. Um, we come with some prepackaged colors uh, that you can choose, but you can also do a custom color. And a new feature in eCart 5 is the ability to uh, quickly and easily manage your colors and your theme. The color manager is really good for people uh, like me who have trouble actually picking colors and, and changing them. Um, you can see here that there's a color palette. And you, under here, under the color suggestions, you can see that there are choices for you to pick uh, among some popular ways to change your color themes according to mathematical and also design processes. Um, the other cool feature here is the color importer. So if I want to base my color theme on an image, let's say a designer gives me or something like that, or an image that's in my current site, I can use the color importer. I just browse to the image. 
And now what I can do is actually use the color picker and sample from my image. So if I sample here, notice that it picks it. And then I can then use my color picker and pick from the base color. And when I go back to my preview, it's now updated with the color that I used from uh, the image that I just sampled. So once I'm coming with the um, color manager, I can see the preview of the shopping cart that I'm going to make. And uh, clicking finish uh, will generate all the code and, and CSS and server-side code necessary uh, to make the shopping cart display page. The last major feature I want to show you is the checkout uh, that eCart can create for you. So back in my demo store, once you click checkout, Notice you go to this page where a user can put in their credit card information or check out with PayPal. So back in Dreamweaver, I'll click on Checkout Wizard. So the Checkout Wizard is a really cool feature. It not only creates all the checkout pages for you, but also creates the shipping and tax functionality, uh, creates uh, the functionality that or inserts your orders into a database or emails receipts to your users, um, and applies designs to uh, the, the final pages. So really, it's qu doing quite a bit. Um, the first screen of the Checkout Wizard, you can see, uh, guides you through what payment options you want to accept in your checkout flow. Uh, you could do accepting credit cards with PayPal. Um, you can do accepting just credit cards. We also support PayPal PayFlow Pro, PayFlow Link, to checkout, authorize.net, eWay, LinkPoint, SagePay, and WorldPay gateways. Uh, so there's quite a variety of payment gateways that we support. Uh, most likely you'll be able to find one uh, that you want. Let me go back in the screen. Another new feature with uh, eCart5 is the ability to actually not have a payment gateway. Um, this is really good for uh, people who don't actually want to process the payment right away, uh, but want to take the order and then follow up with a phone call to process the order or do it via email. Um, so that's a new feature here. Uh, so the, for the purposes of uh, this demonstration, I'll just use Accept Credit Card and PayPal. So the next screen, since I chose uh, Credit Cards and PayPal, I can decide uh, what type of PayPal payments uh, do I want. And it gives you quite a good, lot of good information about the different choices. If you want more information, you can go see a quick demo, or you can actually sign up if you don't have an account yet. I'm going to select Pay PayPal Website Payments Pro. Uh, the next screen walks me through entering my credentials, which I can get from PayPal. Okay, now that I've uh, selected my payment options, uh, the next step is actually setting up shipping. Uh, this is a really cool feature in that uh, I can actually select a shipping provider, and what it will do is actually uh, set up code on my page to actually do real-time rate lookups. So let's say if I have, I'm selling hard goods that I need to ship, uh, what I will do is be able to pass the weight and the box dimensions to uh, my shipping provider, and it will return to me a real-time rate quote. That way, the customer that's uh, checking out will have a good idea of how much shipping will cost. Um, I'm not going to provide shipping for this demo, so I'll uncheck it and go next. Okay, now that I'm done with shipping and taxes, uh, the next step is to uh, figure out how I want to store my orders. Now, this is also a new uh, feature in uh, eCart5 in that instead of having to create my orders database myself, I can use the prepackaged uh, database that comes with eCart, or eCart will actually go ahead and create the database for me. Uh, once again, this is really helpful so that I don't actually have to go and manually update my database. eCart knows what it needs and will do it for me automatically. Another step is the ability to send an email receipt. Now, this option shows up for me because I have Universal Email installed uh, as well. Um, Universal's email is needed to actually send the email. Now, customers that are in our Super Suite or Extension Library membership have Universal Email, so you'll get this option. I'll just click no to move on. And once again, the last step is to select your design options. This is the Power Store version, and I'll just select that so it looks like our Power Store. And the final step shows you all the pages that the Checkout Wizard is going to create. And when you click Finish, it generates all the pages for you. And that's it. I've showed you the major features in the latest version of eCart. Uh, you can go to our website, www.webassist.com, to find out more information about eCart. Um, hope you have enjoyed the video. Thanks a lot for watching.